Okay, so I haven't done much with you yet today. It's just after one o'clock, maybe even going on two o'clock. Um, I pushed my hours at work back until now, since I had to run those errands this morning, um, which were getting the blinds. And when I can't like start right away in the morning, it's better for me just to literally start after that lunchtime break I normally give myself in the middle of the day. However, I'm having some issues with my computer, some technical issues. I don't know what's going on, um, but I can't access anything and I've reached out to a few different people. I've tried to send a couple emails, everything that I would normally do to like submit tickets, you know, for errors or IT problems. They require me to log in to what I can't access. <laughs> so that's been kind of a headache. And I just haven't heard from anybody helpful um, yet, which is a bummer. So I literally can't do anything. I've had a coworker who did respond and she was so sweet. She gave me tons of options, like an email address and some like troubleshooting things that she could find in the program that I'm trying to get into. <laughs> but again, all of it, it's like I follow the steps to submit these tickets or to ask the questions and before I can actually ask the question or whatever it's like please log in to whatever and that's what I am unable to do so um I'm at a standstill so I had my my parents came over and they were like do your work um we'll just install these blinds for you because I needed a drill to put the blinds in I can't just do it with a screwdriver the trim is like solid oak or something super, super hard. <laughs> so um, they were saints and came over and helped me with that. And so my blinds look really nice. Um, I don't know if you can see them really. I mean, that's them. <laughs> They're just faux wood, white blinds, uh, two and a half inches thick, which is like just super classy looking, I think. Let me give you a look at the whole room. Give me a pause. Yeah, so they look nice up there, don't they? I think it looks really nice. I'll eventually probably add curtains, and, but I have to kind of solidify what colors I want to use before I get there. And it's not a, oops, it's not a top priority for me. The blinds were the top priority to give me a little privacy. Um, and I found them at a great deal. Like I said, the one problem with them is that this big window it uh, doesn't have a front decor piece. So you can see, let me show you on this one. You can see this like top piece, it's got the front flat and then it curves around to the side here and then you can't see the top of the bar here. So if I compare that to here, there's an obvious difference. So you can see where the, the twisty pole is connected to the top and yeah, there's that's the difference. So it came with the side pieces, but it didn't come with that front piece. And they all connect to each other, so I have to need, I have to have all three pieces for, to be able to use it. Um, so, it was a big warehouse situation. And so I've messaged the guy who I bought them from and was like, hey, do you have this piece lying around? Is there a way for me to come grab it or you could chip it to me? So I don't have to drive all the way back down there, but I've heard nothing, so. The likelihood of him responding to me I think is rather low, which if you're a guest in my house, I don't think you'll notice that difference. It's just that I, I notice it. But that's all I've done today is run those errands. I came home, I ate a little food, I tidied up, then my parents came over and then I tried to work and I haven't been able to work. So I'm gonna tidy up again <laughs> now that there's like uh, trash everywhere from the blind boxes and if I can't get into work then I'm gonna go see a movie with my parents and take the day as a PTO day and I'll have to burn some vacation hours on today which is a bummer but sometimes that's what you gotta do but yeah let's tidy up
Friday the 30th. I haven't talked to you or filmed anything yet today, I don't think, um, because since I, I ended up being locked out of work all day long yesterday, and so I've been chugging along all day today trying to catch up. It does look like I'll have to work a good chunk of tomorrow too, which is unfortunate since it's New Year's Eve, but that's fine. Tomorrow is the last day of Vlogmas too, which I cannot um, believe. It's already the end of the month, start of a new year, so I'll probably talk about some New Year's resolutions tomorrow, as well as, you know, get up to some other things. I'm supposed to, that table I ordered a few days ago is supposed to be getting here tomorrow, so I'll probably take down Christmas decorations, set up my table, um, decorate that corner a bit, and do some artwork. My friend Hannah is actually visiting me today, so I'm taking a little break from work right now. Um, it's just after one o'clock. I don't know if I said that earlier. And um, I am going to put on a little bit of makeup and dust a little bit and then try to get in a little bit of art because once she leaves I'll have to go back to work again so um, I do want to get in a little bit more art for this video from yesterday and today so that's what I'll do uh, I just wanted to pop in and say hey oh and yesterday also um, I went and saw Avatar with my parents we went and saw the first one when it came out you know so many years ago me and my brother's parents we all really liked it um, I gotta say, there was a lot of just, like, repeat themes in the second one, which, like, I don't know. I've, I've rewatched movies a lot, so maybe if I weren't that way, <laughs> I would have enjoyed it a bit more. But, um, there was just some moments, quite a few moments in it that were almost identical to the first movie in terms of the acting and... Um, like the shots, like there were some identical shots and things that happened and I was just like, that's too much <laughs> for it, for me to have been as interesting. Part of the first one being so good was because the world and the idea of the Avatar, um, I think was just so new and they had created the world so well that second time around that wasn't near as awe-inspiring because we already knew all of the nuances of it and the story wasn't good enough to make up for that. That's my two cents. I'm not a movie critic but I do love movies. <laughs> so that's what I did last night. If you're wanting to go see it, I mean I went to a matinee with my parents so it was cheaper and that's what I would suggest since movies are weirdly expensive or it'll probably be out on Disney Plus before you know it anyway so wait and see it at home I don't know if I wouldn't say that it was worth the money to pay a full like movie ticket price for but c'est la vie that's what I did I still enjoyed eating movie popcorn and now like I said I'm gonna do some dusting and I'm gonna do some art while I wait for Hannah to arrive and we're gonna catch up and she's gonna be my first like out of state visitor at my house my first friend to like come and see my new place, so pretty excited about it. But I'll chat with you later. <laughs> on the 30th of December. Um, Hannah just left. Um, it was amazing to see her. I'm so glad she got to come by. We've discovered that my house is the perfect midway point between her and her parents. So that's really lucky for me. <laughs> I'll probably get to see Hannah a lot more for that reason than I would have without that being the case. So super exciting. 
We exchanged Christmas gifts. She got me a British baking show game, which I am so excited to try out. I'm going to a game night tomorrow, so maybe I'll read up on it and take it there. Try it out for a little New Year's Eve party. Um, we made a yummy soup, and she just got on the road and made some coffee so she wouldn't fall asleep while she was driving, and so that I could have a little extra oomph in my uh, cell for my late shift at Stitch Fix tonight. And um, yeah, I just wanted to report back after that and now I'm gonna work. You saw me sketching on a canvas before she got here. Uh, she actually showed up when I was still working on that. So yeah, I'm happy with how that's coming along. It's like part of Main Street here in my hometown. I want to like test out if I will like it and test out the colors for potential wall art in my living room. I think I'm going to paint it with acrylics and then if I really like it I'll probably do it again bigger or maybe just like scan it and then make larger prints of it and hang those in my room. I could do that. I have another canvas this size too, so do two of them and then just make prints bigger. I might do that, but that's what we're doing. I'm gonna get back to work here for a little late night shift. I'll talk to you later.